Hey there guys, Music Fan here. Uh, first let me get rid of the glasses. How are you guys doing? Uh, today we're going to go on a quick album review for Taylor Swift's fifth studio album, 1989. So let's not waste any time, let's get straight into this album review. So, the first single from this album, Shake It Off, shows up like around two months ago. And I initially did a song review of this one. I couldn't upload it in time because my schedule got cramped up with so many other things, so I couldn't upload the um, the song review but pretty much as, as much I'm gonna say about this particular song later on when I go on a track by track review of this album but to be honest when I first heard this song I was kind of scared really I, I was <laughs> first of which just that song alone just breathes bigger dartboard for Taylor Swift's detractors and that that kind of worried me for a bit it really worried me to think of what direction she was trying to go to. She was going to try to emulate Rihanna, Katy Perry, Miley Cyrus, you know, Lana, Lana Del Rey, and all that different stuff. And those those singers. And I was kind of worried. You know, I was kind of a bit apprehensive going into this album. Um, I couldn't get a hold of it until like probably a week or so ago. And so going into this studio album, her fifth one in her discography, this, this album is, is quite, quite a venture. This album is a complete departure from her country sound. Like you hear the, the name Taylor Swift, you instantly think of, you know, You Belong With Me, uh, Love Story, you know, her hits, her country hits from her previous four, four albums. With, with her fourth album, the Red Album, she kind of started to kind of drift away from the country from the country pop thing. And she started to embrace a little bit more of a pop aesthetic. Of course, that's the entrance of the new producers from uh, Max Martin and uh, I think Shelly Shellback. I think that's his name. I, I Forgive me if I mess up his name, but those two principal producers. The biggest indication that she was going to go pop was on the track, I Knew You Were Trouble, which which is this really big dubstep-like song. And, and the... Personally, for me, Red is my personal favorite Taylor Swift album because she takes so many of these different styles and she, rather than her becoming the style, the style revolves around her particular sound. It was still country. It was still an, a musical aesthetic that you could still recognize. And I liked that. I really liked that from Red, from the Red album. But at the same time, I was kind of seeing, or rather hearing that it was because it was starting to become a stigma for her like I'm like the country sound was starting to become like a box and especially some of the tracks sounded as if she excuse me a lot of the tracks sounded as if she wanted to break out and experiment with a lot of other different music and sounds and that's what she did with this new album 1989 and going into this as I've said earlier I was apprehensive I didn't know what to expect so bracing myself for this album, I, I came off of it rather really surprised for the most part. I mean, it's, it's, less of a, it's, it's, it's less of a surprise that's like, oh my gosh, this album blows me away. And more of a surprise of like, oh wow, hmm, that was not as bad as I, was, as, I was, as I had thought or I was, I was expecting. This is a different Taylor Swift album. She replaces all her country-esque um, devices from you know like is not is not even guitar driven anymore. It's mostly synth driven, synthesizer driven, beat driven, elect electronic driven. This time around, replacing pretty much all the other country uh, foundations that have that have been a trademark in her style since her first album. And she had mentioned that. Her influences for this record included like late 80s new wave, like the title is very explanatory, 1989. That was the age of the, the era of new wave, um, the, pretty much the last era that new wave was around during the late 80s. And you know, you kind of get that here, like, and initially what my fear was for this album was that she was going to, to, she was going to try to emulate artists and different sounds. She was going to try to take the the pop music of, of today and try to fit herself in that mold, which if you look, if you, you know, 
for me, I, I, I at first thought like that's it's kind of a tall order to have. Like, I mean, to go way above her station. And before anyone mentions here or anything, you know, like if Taylor Swift wants to experiment with pop music, then by by my by my own estimation, like go ahead, be my guest. She should experiment with with her sound. She should not confine her her artistic vision, her creativity, and her music into a country box, per se. You know, you know, like so. But with Shake It Off, I was, you know, again, I mentioned I was apprehensive. I was kind of perplexed, perplexed and confused, thinking, what what is she trying to accomplish here by with this song sounding just so childish and just it, it, like such a second rate version of of the track mean from from i think from her third album and at, i at first i thought the rest of the album was going to take in that similar vein and i, I was kind of scared you know but this uh, this album came out a lot better and a lot you know more okay than i i, I had imagined sure there is there is a replacement of all the country-esque um familiarities that we've heard from Taylor Swift up until this point but it's kind of an interesting replacement like in a, in a way she doesn't completely stray from from that sense of intimate songwriting that she's that she's always known for um, I think this album is always associated with the first single shake it off and I think if you ignore that song in particular you'll, you'll find that a lot of a lot of the tracks here, the, the songwriting here, is very, very potent and very intricate. Like I would, like I'm thinking of tracks like "Out of the Woods," for instance. Like it's it's such a deeply emotional songwriting that that she has on here, or or even the last track, "Clean," which she compares her past relationship to a wine stain on her dress, and now it's faded away, and she can finally move on from that, or or even like. Or even tracks like This Love, which is probably one of the deepest, most intimate songs that Taylor Swift has ever recorded and wrote. You have a couple of hidden misses here on this album, though. It's not a perfect album. I'm thinking of songs like... Um, let's see. God dang, the thing's on lock. I'm thinking of songs like All You Had To Do Was Stay, which sounds kind of poppy in a way. I'm also thinking of like tracks like No No I Know Places, Bad Blood, which just eerily sounds a lot like Katy Perry. How You Get the Girl is probably the closest you'll ever get to her her former country sound, except I don't know about this song. It has this really weird little pew thing in the chorus, and that's kind of annoying. You know, like overall this album sounds different. It sounds more pop friendly in a way but to my surprise this album really Taylor Swift doesn't really aim this album to to for her to fit into the Kesha's or the Rihanna's or the uh, the Miley Cyrus's of, of today's pop music landscape instead it's a modern album that takes its musical influences to the past like 1989 past new wave past so it's a modern record, but is looking back to new wave music, which, in my opinion, I kind of thought was pretty original and pretty like un unexpected, you know. Like, and and her songwriting has matured in a way. Like, I mean, no longer is she, well, occasionally at points in this on this album, like tracks like, um, um, I went back a bit, like tracks like Blank Space, kind of like hinters at her uh, her perception of what the media takes of her like of say oh she dates many boys and you know she can't keep one of them she breaks up with every one of them for like months afterwards you know like and to be honest I, I, I really I really don't care about that kind of gossip for me like I mean the, the only thing I care mostly is the music but blank space really kind of takes shot at that it takes aim you have you have some some new collaborators here and there than than previous Taylor Swift albums like the track Welcome to New York has Ryan Tedder producing that song is kind of a good minimal opener but it really doesn't strike me much for me also you have um, guitarist fr from the band Fun uh, Jack Antonoff who who makes an appearance on I Wish You Would you know which is a pretty nice guitar 
um, thing going on for, for this particular track. You know, like overall, this album, I see this album particularly not her best work to date. You know, like of course, Red remains personally my favorite Taylor Swift album, but who knows? In the future, Taylor Swift might come out with another album that will top that one, but still, aiming to this album. So th it's not the best Taylor Swift album ever, I have to say. I kind of see it more as kind of a, a an album of transition. Like she is, she is officially leaving the country sound behind that was kind of boxing her in, and she's kind of starting to open herself to newer horizons, to bigger sounds, bigger imaginations, and bigger songwriting, and you know, and to tackle other different themes here and there. Like now, I think th the downside to this thing here is that the themes are still kind of the same relationships and stuff you know there are times where I do wish that she would you know break out of that relationship writing mold and maybe experiment a, a little bit you know but for but for a Taylor Swift album of this kind of caliber she she does write more mature songs than she has in the past more or less and I think the sound the sound kind of really suits her rather than her suiting the sound. It's it's Taylor Swift basically just, you know, acknowledging the music of her birth year, the music of her past, of the music that she was born into, of that particular scene. And I I think it's it's unique to have a, an album that isn't trying to copy any anyone or copy anything modern or current here and now. But it's trying to kind of make like a bit of a bit of a hello wave to the past and bring it to this date of 2014. So I'm not I, I'm not as worried about this album as I was before. And in fact, I would consider this probably not my favorite or even amongst my top five favorite albums of this year. But for the most part, like it does it does make a place in my list of you know top albums of this year it's 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 a transitional swift album uh for me and i think it's it's a great thing for her to kind of spread her wings and to experiment with different stuff like there are times i kind of wish there was a more guitar presence here at least an acoustic or at least an electric i'm not necessarily saying get banjos and start twanging away but for for a swift album this is a pretty good one. I wouldn't say it's her best, but it's it's a transition album. Like I've been saying a lot, like for the past five minutes, it's transitional. Maybe she's going to go to a much bigger plane here than than before. Maybe she's going to return to a country esque roots. But for an album, Taylor Swift is definitely moving forward. She's moving forward into a direction where she sees fit and in a direction of which she can mature artistically and, and creatively and lyrically, even though for the most part, lyrically, this record isn't mature. So as for a rating for this particular album between a one and a five, I would give this album like a decent, like a decent 3.5 or around a four, somewhere between those two ratings. Because like, while I do enjoy a lot of these tracks and like, I mean, some, misses the ball others for me especially shake it off that really misses the ball uh but anyways like uh like around a 3.5 or or four still not my not my biggest favorite album of this year but it's a decent a decent album it's a decent album for swift and i think you know a lot more people can do more worse than that so this has been my review of taylor swift's 1989 Tell me what you think of this album. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you love it? Do you despise it? Why or why not? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. I'll be back here with some more reviews within the next couple of days, a week or so, and I will see you next time. Mr. Music Fan signing out. Take care.